Welcome to my channel. My name is Kletus Igbe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to prevent your app from exiting if the user presses the back button like this. We have a toast here. Press back again to exit. So within two seconds, if the user fails to press the back button again, and then the app is not going to exit. But if the user presses the back button and within two seconds, it presses again, then the app will exit just like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to prevent that from happening. All right, so first, what we are going to do is that uh, I'm going to take you to my web browser. Okay, so yeah, on your web browser, on your address bar, type pop.dev. Okay, now inside is search packages, search for Flutter Toast. Press enter on your keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to click on the first package right there. So we have Flutter Toast 8.2.2. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and then we have how to use. So here we have this dependencies, this package right there, Flutter Toast 8.2.2. I'm going to click on the copy icon. And I'm going to return back to my Android Studio. Okay, so now on my Android Studio, um, inside my project, I'm going to scroll down. Then I'm going to search for popspec.yam. Then double click on it to open. Yeah, I'm going to scroll down to dependencies. Okay, so this is where you're going to, you know, paste that. Just paste it right here. Don't bother about my version just paste yours okay just paste it right there and then once you do that once you paste it then click on pop.get or you can go to your terminal you can go to your terminal let's see your terminal right there you can go to your terminal and then inside your terminal you can type flutter pop get then you just hit the enter key on your keyboard it's going to download the dependencies okay into your project so you can do that or you just click on pop.get all right so once you do that you can close this popspec.yam file all right so um i have already done the coding so that i won't waste much of your time but i'm going to explain every single um, line of code all right so that you can add that in your project okay so um if you don't if you haven't done this already we are using we are using the web view we use the web view in flutter to convert our website um to, into ios and android app if you haven't done that already i'm going to link the um i'm going to leave a link to our previous video okay on the video description I'm just going to you know leave the link there so you are just going to follow that tutorial and then once you are done with that then you can you know use this post if you have something different um you can also follow alongside this um project okay this um tutorial okay so um once you have uh once you're done with the postpay.yam file you're going to import the package inside your project so we're we are going to go back to our web browser and then we are going to cop, um, in, uh, copy this line of code we are going to import this uh, flutter to, uh, toast package inside our um, main.dat um, file okay so inside here you're going to paste it right there so i have it right there you're going to paste it right there so once you paste it and then the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to you know start with the date time object you're going to start with a date time object and then you're going to create an instance okay of that object and then you're going to assign it to the date time dot noun class so once you've done that this is it right there so once you've done that and then um inside the home property yeah before we have the scaffold okay so um but we have replaced that scaffold with the will pop scope so the will pop scope is what will enable us um to check if the user has um, pressed the back button and if if it is within 
the um, assigned time frame of two seconds. Okay, so um, you're going to highlight um, on your scaffold like this. If you have it on your home page, you're going to highlight it, highlight it like this, and then click on this um, this icon right there, and then you're going to say wrap widget. So once I click on the wrap widget like this, and then inside here you're going to type wheel pop scope. So once you type the wheel pop scope, it's going to display that you should add your own wheel pop. Okay, so you're going to open um, at an empty function, okay, with the async right here, and then you are going to, you know, inside the coily braces, I'm going to tell you what to do. So I'm just going to undo this since we have it already. We have wrapped our scaffold with this um, wheel pop scope widget. All right, so on the wheel pop, sorry, on the uh, inside the on wheel pop. Then you're going to open this, you know, this this uh, empty function right here. Then you add this async. Then inside your coily braces, you're going to now what we have done here is that uh, we we have checked the time difference, okay, from when the user presses the back button, okay, and then if the user presses the back button again within two seconds. And then um, we are going to check if um, it is true or false. So if it is false, um, okay, before I get there, okay, this is what it means. We we have used this code to check the um, time difference. That's the date time dot noun. And then um, the date time dot noun. And then we check the difference between when the user presses the back button and when within two seconds okay if the user presses the back button again or not so this is this is what we've done and we have assigned it to this is um, exit warning because we are going to use this all right so here we have assigned the date time dot non class to this object okay to the date time object all right so now we are going to check um, use this conditional statement the if else statement okay so if is exit warning so if it returns false and then um it should you know um you know display a toast message okay just like this i'm going to click on the back button this this, this is a, a toast message um it's going to display a toast message press the back um press back again to exit so we have assigned this string into message okay and then we use the flutter toast remember we um we added a flutter toast package into our popspec.yarn file so this that package will you know enable us to use this um flutter toast okay so um yeah we have used the flutter toast um to you know display the message this message okay right here um in a string all right we have used this um flutter toast to display this message and then um the font size uh, that i've used here is 18 you can decide to use um 16 as the case may be if you want it okay all right so now if it returns to um true uh, sorry false which means if the user um presses the back button so it's going to take the time down and then it's going to uh, display this toast message that the user should press the back button again so if true all right so if true if the user presses the back button that's again if true um it's going to you know um return like like if true then um it's going to cancel that's if the user um fails to press the back button okay it's going to cancel um if the user fails to press the back button again so the app is not going to exit that's what it means all right so if the user fails to press the back button within the time frame of two seconds the app is not going to exit but if the user presses the back button okay within two seconds and then the app will 
exit all right just like this i'm just going to show you an um, example of what i meant so i'm going to press the back button like this once press back again to exit press back again to exit that's within two seconds okay did you see that so i'm going to take you open the app again all right so if i press the back button and it, i have a tool here press back again to exit like this press back again to exit if i feel to press back again to exit within two seconds okay the app will not exit but if i do within two seconds then the app will exit so this will help to prevent your app from exiting if the user um, presses the back button okay so guys if you're still watching this video and you like the video click on the like button and um, you can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that thank you so much for watching